And it's night time again. Let's uh wait for a few hours. Oh, daytime, there you go. Well, let's uh, go ahead and keep moving. We'll uh, get out of here. And I'll show you where we can sell that skooma. Take the uh, silt strider here to uh, Balmora. And I'm going to join up with a couple guilds here in Balmora. Do a couple missions. <clears throat> Well, uh, thanks for watching, guys. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. This game is a lot of fun. Um, if you want to play it legit and stuff like that, um, it's a lot of fun too. But I uh, use the exploits. It's uh, <laughs> it's a good time. First thing I'm gonna do is join up with the Mages Guild. And she does not have any duties for me because I am a apprentice. Uh, restore magic potions. They're uh, pretty good to have. You sell those for a few bucks. He's my uh, spell making guru right there. Want some duties? Mushrooms. Mushrooms, yes, here they are. <gasps> Look at that. Magically. And she gave me some uh, restore health potions. Uh oh. Fake soul gem. Take the fake soul gem and put it in Gilbadir's desk. While well, she's coming down here, I'm going to go up here. Let her keep moving. I don't know if you guys can see her or not. She's standing right there, and I don't want to. Do anything while she's watching. I will put the fake soul gem in her desk and take the real soul gem out. Take all her other soul gems. Oh, that's too bad. <clears throat> now that I cleaned out all her soul gems, what was that? And I put the fake soul gem in her desk. And now she's broke. Oh, right. I wanted to show you guys where you can go go into a city called Caldera and we're gonna buy uh, stop by the local merchant there and his name is Creeper and he's a he's a Daedra, he's a little scamp he uh, buys things for full price and he has five thousand gold pieces and the economy of the game 
in short, this game does not have economy. It doesn't matter what merchant you go to. All the merchants get all their money back whenever you uh, buy stuff from them or sell or sell stuff from them. If the game had economy like that, well, he doesn't buy moon sugar, but someone does. What he does buy is skooma. So, uh, that's a good thing to sell. Bam, 5,000 gold. Now I got 7,000 gold on me. I'm going to go ahead and wait for 24 hours. Let him get all his gold back. Made another five thousand dollars. How about that? If only it was real life. <laughs> and the Wing Twilight Grand Soul Gem is not sellable. Let's go ahead and get rid of that grief. I'm gonna hold on to those restore health potions so I get uh, a good spell of my own. Well, now we're gonna leave Gorak Manor with our new hard-earned money. <laughs> wow. Fine. I can talk to you no more. Go back to the Mage's Guild here in Caldera and we'll take a trip back to Balmora. I haven't even really done any good missions yet. I haven't even touched the main quest. Ugh. Oh, here we go. Hajira. She buys moon sugar. Haha. <laughs> Let's see. Alright, now that I got that all taken care of. Let's go ahead and take a trip to the Fighters Guild. Join up with them. And an important thing to remember is when you're playing, join the temple. It's worth it. They, uh, they condemn you later on in the game. Spoiler alert. Don't uh, fast forward it 15, no, 30 seconds if you don't want to hear this. But what they do is uh, they condemn you for being the Neverine, Neverine later on, and uh, try to kill you. But they turn out. Wow. Okay. What if I join you guys? Now that I'm a member, you like me a little bit more, don't you? Hello. Alright, uh, I joined the Fighters Guild because they got uh, decent potions. Uh, restore fatigue and uh, restore health potions, armor, hammer. Those are uh, important things to have. Plus they give you a bed, uh, just like the Mages Guild. You can sleep in that bed.